It's <laughs> really fun that you don't get to see Marth too often in doubles a lot of the time. Marth is definitely one of the harder to play doubles characters. I would put him in that Fal Falco slot where he he's a great singles character. He just has to play doubles a little bit differently. Yeah. Both of you guys are pretty good at this. Uh, PPU and Smash Mouth. Yeah, both those players are, are very good at playing Mark in doubles. It's definitely a skill that you can't just you can't just wake up and do it. Not like uh, with your single skills. You can't just bring those in and win. A lot of Mark in doubles is not doing your chain grabs. Yeah. Not doing your weird tech chase into offstage gimps. But it's really playing with your teammate. Yeah. Right? Finding a grab for your teammate. Stopping the other person from running in. Backing up your teammate when his uh, approach fails. Marth start back to back and they just start 1v1ing the other characters. It's gonna be kind of tough because uh, green teams are uh, both floaties, they don't have a quick way to, to reach the other one. That's gonna be the hard part, I think. Yeah, it's gonna be based upon Marth's ground game. Can he reach? Dang, God. He took that. Really good form coming out from Risha right now. He hasn't been overextending. Very easy to try to save your teammate and hit yourself in vulnerability. Dang, he blocks it. Marth's had some trouble finding his footing so far. It's a different Marth than he's used to. I gotta say, Espa is the big playmaker right now. Feeling pretty good. Oh, I'm gonna go grab him if I get it. Ah, uh, Rishi missing that edge guard against Espa. Oh, recovered from Lod though. Yeah, they double team. And unfortunately, they can only get one of these kills, but really good pacing coming out from Green Team. You gotta just take it one task at a time. Okay. Yeah, he caught it, but he gets smacked in the face. I really also really appreciate how good uh, Lufat is about realizing that they have an invincible teammate coming in and just you know, leaving. Yeah, the timing for respawn, they understand very well. Anytime an invincible character comes in, you can just ruin the whole plan for doubles. And a, and a lot of plans in doubles have a contingency, right? It only works. Dang. Green team just got super smacked on the left side. Uh-oh, no jump. You gotta be so careful on the edge against people in teams. It's so easy to be lazy. I'm just gonna jump to the ledge. Get killed. Right there. We see a lot of great drift mix-ups coming out of Rishi and getting off the ledge. Really impressed with how he's handling neutral. So, what's the name of a Marth team, or the game against Marth teams is that you want to isolate the Marth because he's not so good at 2v1s. Uh, we saw a little bit from Green Team. We've seen a lot, a lot of that uh, from Blue Team. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Blue Team has been isolating and spacing them far apart. Peach has such a hard time getting back to Marth, and Marth can't, as you said, win the 2v1 that easily. He has to make a decision on who he's engaging with. He also doesn't have an easy way to set up kills, but that was a pretty sick one. Yeah, they're very specific. He definitely got that one, and it's props to him, because you need to get those cuts. Ooh. Nice grab on shield. That was a pen combo, and that's... That's Pew... That's PPU just going in, man. Oh... I was thinking down air. That was pretty cool. That was a low percent kill. Yeah. Fox actually, like, crouched underneath that throw. After 30-ish percent, around 30 percent, this is uh, directly from that's why you told me that in teams, after 30 percent, when you throw them, that's when their hitbox will hurt you, right? Oh, the character coming out of the throw. But like under 30, you can just throw them right at your teammate. That's interesting. Yeah, the hitbox, their hurtbox will be a hitbox. More than 30 to know for team stuff. Yeah, when below 30, just smack them around, throw them into each other. Above 30, use some awareness, right? So right there, Fox ducked under what the throw was going to look like. Up smash to really sick. He was able to react to if Vlad died in, he ducked under it, and it went Vlad died away. Yep. Go smash under it. Yeah. Really well played. Small micro decisions like that ensure the kill. They got that kill at 99% on FD, right? Oh. Really well played. Let's see, uh, Richie's using the Fox. That makes, that makes sense. Pretty interesting. I. I like this switch because Marth has a potential to, to backfire on the stage, and Peach is enough of an advantage on the stage. So you have stage control, really. Yeah. So right now, Fox oh. is going to be the big playmaker. Pewfat couldn't save S-Fat. Both Boots and Nervous were ready for S-Fat to go get the else one. He just didn't do it. Not trying to come in. And... Oh, this may be a trade. 
interesting trade. Yeah, I don't, I don't want that one. I think he was hopeful that that would. Dang, wrong target. Oh, Dang, pinned in such wow. a bad spot. Taper, bear kill. I've never seen Peach go from zero to death in three seconds, dude. That was rough. Oh my god, get wrecked. Okay, shining out of that D smash. Lot is going hard. Oof, okay. okay. Yeah, Rishi looking okay out there. Yeah, yeah. It's some semblance of order reestablished here. Uh, yeah, Rishi's controlling that middle. Lot's really trying to get in there and cause chaos. Dude, Lot's been crushing the left side. His pressure's been sick. Alright, they, they're separated. But no haste coming out. Really strong control from blue team. No haste. They both make it back. Look at that! Look at the high awareness with PPU. Oh, Look at that! That was, sick. that was so sick. He knew the soft would combo into up tilt off stage, man. And look at that, dude. Just 10 seconds ago, it looked like Blue Team had no control whatsoever. A lot of patience. They get the first kill off that scenario. Okay, they went for it. They almost got the next one. You see, Lot's really trying to be the playmaker, as you're saying. Trying to force uh, them in grid spots. Create some space to down smash. Dude, his zoning capabilities right now are so good. And that's that. He's gonna not trade. That's the clean stock win. Oh, that's Rishi. But it was worth it. Good, yeah. My god. This down smash is controlling at least an eighth of the stage. It's so big. So much damage. I think they're talking about Rishi because SFAT's just been tech chasing the whole game. Oh, that's a booty. That's a booty. Oh, no. Killing his teammate. One Rishi last many, stock. One too many down smashes. Dude, blue team's patience and confidence is so strong on such a small stage. Especially with the patience. I usually expect that to cause a bunch of chaos and push to make good decisions, but they've really kept their cool. Yeah, they've been really managing to just keep a cool head. And that is the stock. And he survives. Really, really well played by Team CLG. I like the switch from Rishi. His Fox is looking not bad at all. Yeah, it looks alright. Well, that's the kind of the struggle, right? You switch to a secondary, not quite as experienced as your main. But it was, I think, an appropriate switch for the stage kind of thing. Yeah, very appropriate switch. Uh, there's a lot of high level strategy going on there. The steadfastness of Pew Pew and S Fat. They were split up on the screen. The camera was so zoomed out on Yoshi's. You could see all of Randall's path. 